Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome to Bearded Cigar Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Davidoff Year of the Tiger. It is a, well, it's a 52 by 5.5, and, and I read the name of the size, and I think it says Pyramidus, Pyramidus, Pyramid, I think is what it's supposed to say. It uh, looks like a torpedo to me, but it's 52 by 5.5. And Very pretty looking cigar. It obviously being Year of the Tiger, it's part of the Zodiac sign um, line that Davidoff does. I think started in 2011 or something. This is the 2022 limited edition. Um, and you can see kind of, if you look closely enough on the actual cigar, I'll try to do a close up. Um, they have an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with Dominican filler and binder. And what they did with the Connecticut wrapper is uh, according to, to Davidoff is they took wet um, veins from the other tobacco leaves and laid it across that wrapper in order to get those darker lines and replicates basically what it looks like on the tiger's stripes so yeah I think it looks really really cool and I think that's part of why the cigar is so popular today I'm gonna be pairing the Davidoff year of the tiger with Francis Connor Weiss beer. It is 5% alcohol, brewed and bottled by Spattenbro, Munich, Germany. And I am very sorry if I'm butchering that name. I'm just reading it off the label. Really good beer. I'm going to pair that with uh, the Year of the Tiger here. So before we cut and light it, see if there's anything we get off the wrapper. It's a little cold, so I don't know how much I can smell. First thing that comes to mind is is cream. Cream is the first thing that comes to mind. What about the foot? Not as sweet as Nicaraguan, um, but usually Dominican tastes a little earthy. So, yeah, little sweetness off the uh, foot and uh, cream off the wrapper. So let's go ahead, give it a cut, and uh, light it up. Nothing off the cold draw. Um, yeah, nothing. Usually I get uh, graham crackers or something or something sweet. That time I'm not really getting anything. So. Right off the bat, with the first few puffs, I uh, not getting a lot. Like I said in, uh, in my previous video, you don't usually get a lot of big flavors in the beginning. You, again, you're supposed to let it go for about an inch, let the oils uh, heat up, give the cigar a chance. But the first few puffs are, I think, are important to know. You're getting that earthiness, I think, <clears throat> a lot from the Dominican uh, filler in the binder. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm getting right now. It's just that earthiness. Very smooth, but just an earthy flavor to it. Nothing else. Cheers. Okay, so we've smoked about an inch so far. And it's definitely smoothed out quite a bit. A um, lot more flavors coming through. Not sure if it's the combination with the beer or not, but I am getting a lot of citrus off of it. It's kind of nice. And uh, yeah, very smooth. So enjoying it quite a bit. Let's go ahead and try the first retro hail. Funny enough, I thought it was going to be sweet. I thought it was going to be citrusy, like I've been uh, been hinting at. But I actually got a hit of roast co roasted dark roasted coffee. Now, something about Davidoff is they're known to be very complex, you know, and they, and they take pride in having a very complex palate for their cigars. It's one of the reasons why they're so successful and why so many people uh, lo love Davidoff. If you go onto Davidoff website, if you go on that website and you look up any of their cigars and you look up the Year of the Tiger, they're going to list off all these different flavor notes and all these things that are on there and then you smoke one and you try looking for it 
you may or may not get some of those notes. It's really just a combination of bitter, sweet, what is it, bitter, sweet, um, umami, spice, and sour. I think those are the five like senses that you taste. And each of those, combination of each of those, reminds you of certain foods. And that's kind of where people get these these notes from like nutty or almonds or roasted coffee or pizza like I had in my last video. So if you start hearing different notes and people explain, describing um, taste things, food stuff that they're tasting from cigars, know that it may not taste exactly like that or you might not get that exact same flavor, but it might trigger those same senses that will remind you of maybe something different. I would absolutely love to know if anybody out there has smoked the Davidoff Year of the Tiger of that list that they put on their uh, website of all the flavors that they, that they uh, put in their cigars and that they sit and they market that their cigars have. I would love to know, comment down below, ha has anybody out there tasted all of them or even some of them or one of them? Or have you tasted something on, a year, on the uh, Davidoff Year of the Tiger that they don't list there, something completely different. I'd really like to know what you guys get because everybody's palate is different. All right, so we're about halfway and uh, it's, def it's smooth a lot, very, very smooth. Um, I can tell it's very complex with its flavors. You know, I'm getting a lot of different stuff from it, but very smooth otherwise, great blend. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of flared a little bit with the ash. You can see a little bit. Well, what happened there was it started to canoe, uh, but then it immediately pretty much fixed itself before it got halfway. And you can see the ash on it, pretty decent. One of the things that surprised me so far about this cigar is I'm actually like, I'm enjoying the, the, the smell off of the actual smoke of the cigar which isn't usual. Normally, uh, if, you're, if you're ever sitting with somebody and you can smell the cigar, sm and, and most people think this, cigars smell great, and they do. You don't get a lot of that smell when you're actually smoking the cigar yourself. Um, and if the smoke hits you in the face, sometimes, you know, it's just, it kind of hits your face harshly and you try to wave it away from you because you don't get that big, nice, cigar smell when you're actually smelling it. I have no idea why that's the case. Uh, if you happen to know, please comment below. Let me know why. The smell is definitely different when you're smoking the cigar than if you're near somebody who's smoking the cigar. Still that citrusy, li very little bit of creaminess, um, just because of the Connecticut wrapper, I'm sure. Um, but I think the Dominican that's usually very earthy and its flavor profile is is keeping it super smooth. I'm really enjoying the uh, Francis Connor. Francis Connor. Oh, there it went. Now that it's we're pretty much at halfway and it ashed, we're gonna go ahead and also and um, retrohale it again. Butter. <laughs> I actually feel like I got a little bit of the butter that uh, you get with Connecticut wrapper. I will also say so far, uh, halfway through it, pretty dang mild. Uh, I'm not, not getting a lot of strength off of it. Very enjoyable overall. Uh, the strength really kind of stayed the same uh, towards the end of the cigar. Maybe bumped up to a, a, a four or five out of ten maybe. Uh, for strength, um, great flavor out of it, very enjoyable, very smooth, like I said. I appreciate uh, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, have a chance to enjoy one of these yourselves. Let me know where'd you get it and uh, what you thought of it, what you tasted, what you paired it with. Like before, if there's anything you think that pairs with the cigar a little bit better, drop a comment down below, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Drop a comment what you think I should review next, if there's anything, and uh, what I should pair it with as well. I appreciate you guys. Until next time.